When an individual develops a cavity, here are all the potential outcomes. In cases where the cavity reaches the nerve, a root canal procedure becomes necessary. This is because once the bacteria penetrate the root canal, there is no practical way to remove them. If the nerve is healthy, then the choice of restoration will depend on the size of the cavity. Composite restorations are an excellent choice for addressing smaller cavities on the surface of the tooth. This is due to the fact that composite restorations require meticulous polishing. Otherwise, the composite's margins may begin to deteriorate, particularly when dealing with larger composite restorations. In situations where the cavities extend to both the surface and in between the contacts of the tooth, a dental inlay is required. This is because achieving optimal tooth-to-tooth -tooth contacts is highly crucial, especially to prevent food from becoming trapped between the teeth. A dental onlay is a hybrid restoration resembling both a dental inlay and a dental crown. When a section of a tooth is damaged or missing while another portion remains healthy, a dental onlay can be employed as a suitable solution. However, if more than 50% of the tooth structure is absent, it is advisable to proceed with a dental crown to safeguard the inner portion of the tooth. In cases where there is no remaining healthy tooth structure to achieve good restoration outcomes, the tooth will need to be extracted. After a tooth is extracted, it is essential to consider appropriate non-removable tooth replacement options to prevent mesial drifting. The first option is a dental bridge, where the adjacent teeth are used to replace the missing teeth. The second alternative is a dental implant, which involves replacing the tooth's root with a dental implant, effectively replicating the natural anatomy of the tooth.